Hello everyone, this is Mr. Lipchick and we are going to have a brief discussion on labor unions. Organized labor. A labor union is an organization of workers that tries to improve working conditions, wages, and benefits for its members. Some of the earliest labor unions were formed in the shoe factories in Lowell, Massachusetts by women. The bosses hired women in the mistaken belief that they could intimidate them, or the women uh, saw that they had common interests and they organized. Working conditions during the Industrial Revolution were terrible with people working 12 to 16 hour days. Workers eventually realized that the only way they had to improve their lives was to strike. Strike is an organized work stoppage intended to force employers to address union demands. Early strikes were illegal and often met with violent force by the police and the military. Employees resisted unions well into the 1930s. Under the New Deal of FDR, however, workers were allowed to to have recognized unions and legal strikes. America's as Americans' industrial power grew, so did the unions becoming a major political and economic force. To the right you see the union label, which uh, union workers would always look for. Decline of organized labor. The primary cause for the decline in the labor movement was the decline of manufacturing where most of the union jobs were, also known as blue-collar jobs. Others include the Taft-Hartley Act of 1947. This permitted states to enact right-to-work laws that prohibited mandatory union membership. And manufacturers in the Northeast have also relocated in the South and Midwest, where much of the work is not organized into unions. Organized labor terminology. Collective bargaining. This is the process in which the union and the company meet and discuss a new labor contract. Common collective bargaining issues include wages and benefits, working conditions such as safety, and job security, often uh, furloughed by seniority, is an important issue. Terminology continued. Mediation is a settlement technique in which a neutral mediator, often appointed by the state, meets with each side to try to find a solution that both sides will accept. And there is arbitration. This is a settlement technique in which a third party reviews the case and imposes a decision which is legally binding for both sides. Mediation, remember, is non-binding. Arbitration is binding. That concludes our discussion on labor unions. Thank you for attending, and I look forward to seeing you in the live lesson. Have a great day.